Hi, good morning, guys. How you doing? Good morning. It's bright and early, but not really. No, it's <laughs> like not. Nine something. It's not bright Almost and early. Almost ten. Though. And we are going to uh, Cinque Terre today. Um, I think that means the five lands. Correct me. If, correct me if I'm wrong. I think that means the five lands, and I believe there's five like fisher ta fisher towns um, along the cliff sides and stuff. There is, yes. And then each one it looks like has a beach, and I don't know. We're gonna see what they're all about. They sound very cool. Everybody has told us go to Cinque Terre when you're in Italy. Yes. And yeah. A lot so, of suggestions to go. Oh, it's driving off. Oh, there you goes know what's our going shuttle. On because our shuttle, it's not supposed to leave for another 10 minutes. I don't know if it was just late to its last stop, but it just left. Yeah. <gasps> we, have, we have to take a shuttle to the train station. Then we have to take a train to another town. And then from that town are all the trains. And then you're in the national park. And then you can take a train to all the the towns, I guess. I don't even know what we you call We think we're just going to buy a day pass because we don't know how many towns we're going to visit yet. Yeah. Um, but we're not for sure. Yep. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Per 57 non ce la fate. No. no. Ah, ma avete perso comunque. We just made it to Montessoro. The train ride was quicker than we thought because we didn't have to make a changeover. We thought we had to in Levanto, and that's what our the camping people said. They said you have to get off in Levanto because the train from Deva Marina, that's where we're staying, doesn't go all the way here, but it does. It did. So now the next order of business is find some food and some water because we haven't eaten or drinking any water since we've been here, and huh. we're dying. Just today, we haven't. We are at the bar. Even gelatoria. We're gonna get some sandwiches and some water, and then the water is looking really nice. We have a nice water view from this spot. There's like a castle or something up over there. Anyways, we're gonna get some food in our bellies, and then we're gonna explore Montesoto. In case you didn't know, Cinque Terre is a group of five villages. They used to be fishing villages, now they're definitely more just tourist villages. Uh, but there's beaches, restaurants, hotels, and then there's hikes that go from each one to the next one. We don't have time to do any of the hikes. They usually take around like one to two, sometimes even more hours. Um, so we don't have time to do that, but I've heard the hikes are really cool and you get to like see the villages from higher up and from further away. So if you have more time here, I think that's a good thing to do is to do the hikes. Um, but there is also trains that go from village to village like we talked about before. So that's what we'll be doing today. I think we'll maybe go to one or two more villages. Um, but this one was like the number one that everyone recommends. And then the other one that somebody recommended to us was um, Mauna, Loa, Mauna Lola, I think is how you say it. So I think we might check that one out too. That one's a little further away, but um, super cute. We could just walk around here all day and then there's the nice beach right there. So it's fun. We found ourselves a bit of a beach spot. It's not as crowded, still a little bit crowded. <laughs> Madison's already in the water though, so I'm gonna go hop in. I think we're about to head out of Montessoro and go to no, the next one. I think it's Monteroso. Never mind. I think we're going to head out of Monteroso. Wait, let me look it up really quick. What's this? 
feel like we don't know where we're headed out of. And then we're gonna head to, Wait, where are we headed to? Hold on, it's Monteroso. All right, we are gonna head out of Monteroso. Um, we were here for a couple hours. Final thoughts? It's very nice. We 10 out of, how many out of 10? Um, I don't know, I'd have to really think about that. I would give it an eight out of 10. Um, we had a nice lunch and a nice dip in the water. We got a really good spot on the beach. It was a sandy little area and there wasn't as many people around. And then we came over here and found the holy grail of free water Phillips. Yeah, I had heard. Don't get me started on this. You gotta pay for water at the restaurant. It's really grinding my gears. Really grinding my gears. But I had heard online, or I read online, that there's free Phillips places, and we just found one of them. We were walking to actually find a water bottle to buy because we couldn't find the Phillips stations, and then we found one. So where are we headed next? I forget. Monterola. Monterola. Those both sound the same to me. But why are we headed to Monterola? We chose that one because there's dairy-free gelato. No, and somebody suggested it to us. That's true. Monterola. So, I guess we gotta go find a train. We gotta catch a train to the next city. Not city. <laughs> Our city, little town. We gotta catch a train to the next town. This one looks like way down at the bottom. I wonder how far away it is. Alright. Nice talking to you. Peace. Guys, check out the color of this water right now. Are you seeing that? This is like turquoise blue. It's very nice. So pretty. And it's kind of warm, actually, when you get in. Gelato. There was a lactose or a gelato shop that had lactose free gelato, so I got dark chocolate and raspberry. So good. The dark chocolate tastes like Ghirardelli chocolate. It's yum. And the raspberry is pretty tart, but it mixes well with the chocolate. Mm -mm. All right, so we got to apologize, guys. I forgot to charge our batteries last night and we just used the last on our, our um, go-to camera. So the rest of this vlog is probably gonna be on the GoPro, except for our outro. So the audio is not gonna be as crisp, but it should get the point across. going to jump off that rock. I am absolutely not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm about to pee my pants just watching people do it and thinking about him doing it. I don't know if he's gotten into the water yet. Let me go look. Oh yeah, he's swimming around right now. Freaking out. <laughs> Looks way higher from up here. I don't know, I guess you just gotta do it. 
Here we go. He did it! He's alive! Oh, that was crazy! I'm gonna hurt my butt though. Oh man, that was a blast. <laughs> Alright, so we just watched someone jump from an even higher spot on the rock that I didn't know was there. And I feel like I can't leave without doing that one too. But I'm gonna do it. Alright, here we go. Don't do it! You're scaring me! That was crazy. I almost didn't get myself to do it. I'm sure you can see up there. I was just sitting up there just looking over and looking over and I finally just had to just do it. I guess I couldn't wimp out. But my ears hurt now. Also, there's tons of people watching. A lot of people, yeah. I looked up there and there's just like a whole line of people just watching. So I had to do it then too. But my ears hurt and I have a couple battle scars. But it was fun. I don't want to do it right now again, but I would do it again. Stop to get a little supper snack. It's the pizza al pesto, and I'm seeing this everywhere. I don't. Someone's gonna have to comment and let us know if this is like traditional in this area, but it's called like foca focasia or something. It's like a thicker bread. That's what our get out of here. That's what those sandwiches were made on uh, that we had for lunch. But it's everywhere, everywhere. Um, it's pretty good. It's not like phenomenal, but what kind did you get? It does a trick. It's um, oh, it's got that bread and it's got just the pizza sauce, mozzarella, and pesto on top. Okay, watching Kyle eat made me hungry. I didn't think I was hungry, but I was. So I went to this um, <clears throat> little pop-in takeaway shop, and it says vegan on the outside, which is a safe option for me because I know that there's not going to be any dairy. And I got a pesto thing that was kind of like Kyle's, but obviously no cheese, and it does have tomatoes on it. So, old pesto. Mm. It's so soft. I think that's better than yours. <laughs> it's really good. Same idea, but much softer bread. And sun-dried tomatoes, which I love. Hanging at the train station, waiting to go back. Uh, we're headed back to Deva Marina. That's where we're camping. And I don't really want to leave. I wish we could have stayed a few more days here because we only saw two of the towns. Um, and we had a blast checking these out. And there's three more. I feel like we easily could have spent like four days here. What do you think? I agree. The towns that we saw were very cool and cute, and they were very different from each other, so I'm interested to see what the other ones would look like. So we might be coming back. Are we coming back? Huh? We're coming back? Might be coming back. We're coming back? Maybe. This train is AC, and I feel great. And good. Just made it to Diva Marina where we are staying. Just gonna catch our shuttle and then we're gonna get some sparkling water and then I think we're gonna go to the beach. Sparkling water is our new fave. We're back at the apartment. Apartment. We're back at the cabin. And we're back on the good camera. So you guys are probably jumping for joy. And I'm not going to show you too much of the mess around here. But I'm cooking a gourmet meal. I've really been inspired by Italian cuisine. So what we're doing here is we're taking the cold noodles. 
throw the cold noodles in the pan, hit them with a little bit of olive oil drizzle, <laughs> and I know you're thinking, wow, you could just leave it there. You could leave it just like that and it would be perfect, but we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, are we? We're going to take some of the sriracha. I mean, this looks disgusting. We're going <laughs> to... My meal? It's so gross. <laughs> my meal? Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't yes. listen to the haters. Don't listen to the haters. Hit it with a little bit of... That's making me want to puke. Ah. You got to quiet out the haters. Got to put the blinders on. All right. Hit it with the sriracha drizzle. Just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it on the sriracha. Give it a little bit more olive oil. Ew, honey, ew. Close the sriracha. Mm, come over. You see what else you got in the fridge. This is looking good. Just a little bit of tomato paste. A little bit of tomato paste. This is where you can really get in trouble if you overdo it. Plenty. Plenty. Close it up. And then... This is what really separates me from my competitors. A little bit of paprika. Boom. There she is, and you mix her up. Might need to throw a little more olive oil in there. You simmer it, you sizzle it, you cook it all up, and then you eat it. There it is, the finished product. Doesn't look too bad if I do say so myself. We're gonna give it the old taste test. That's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. We're gonna need a second opinion. Can we come uh, give her the taste test? It. It's probably disgusting. Like this. Ow. Sorry. You need me to sit for it. Mm -hmm. Put it in there. There's something gross in there, babe. No, not. That's just the noodle cream. It's not like worst thing. Did you hear that? Not the worst thing. Now stop eating it. It's, it's actually my, not bad. That's my dinner. Get out of town. Get out of town. Stop. <laughs> I told you it's good. I'll be expecting my Michelin star I it was be shortly. Disgusting. It's not. It's actually kind of good. All right. Catch you later. Update. About three quarters of the way through this meal. And I wouldn't even say it's not bad. I would almost say it's good. I would make it again. And I probably will make it again. And you guys should give it a shot too. I mean, just it's free recipe. Free recipe. Go ahead and take it. You don't even need to give me credit. But if you want to, tag me. That's it. And that's a wrap. That's all we got for you guys. We told you we were going to the beach. We lied. Yeah, because we need to go down and use the Wi-Fi and book a couple places to stay on the island that we're going to. We are going to mostly car camp, I think. Hopefully. But we do want to book a couple places for the in-between days because we're going to be there quite a while. Yeah. We're going to Corsica. We didn't tell them where we were going. Oh, we didn't? We're going to Corsica. It's an island. It's actually a French island, but it looks like it should French. be part of Italy. Yeah. So we're gonna take a ferry from here, not here, down south a little bit. We're gonna have to leave super early in the morning, not looking forward like to that. Four. So we decided beach wasn't a good idea because we needed to use the Wi-Fi here, plus we, we got some dishes to do and stuff. Dirty cabin. Yeah. So I really enjoyed Cinque Terre. Me too. Though. I want to come back. It was super cute. You want to come back? Think, yes. I definitely think we could have spent more time there. Yeah. I got a little sunburn and I'm feeling a little ill. I jumped off a cliff. Yeah. Very excited about that. I didn't know I was doing that today. That was crazy. But I got so much water up my nose. Like I hit and it's just like. <sighs> yeah. And then for like the next hour, like I, I just lean my head over. And just like that. water would just. And pour. if I just went out of my nose, it was just like water was like pouring it's out of like my nose. It's like a fountain. It's like my sinuses were just full of water. It was really scaring me. But I think I got most of it out. I don't feel a bunch of pressure up here anymore. But that's all. That's all we got. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Way too early. <laughs> I'm already too early. not looking forward to it. I know. I'm already tired. I know. 
All right. Anyway. All right. We're like, subscribe, comment. Water. Peace. Check out the battle scars. Gnarly. I'm still walking though. Look <laughs> at that one. Check out this weather right now. And that is why we're not going to Chinque Terre today. <laughs> you do it. I you do, do it, it every time. No. I do it every single outro. Fake. I actually do News. do it every single outro. No, you don't. Always do pull up the computer and I'll show you that you're wrong. The last video I edited, I went. Ready?